we are uh, going to start a new series of videos in which we are basically going to create a microservice and um, add all kinds of functionality to the microservice and over time I think once we are done with several of these videos we will basically have an extremely rich uh, microservice which will do all kinds of cool things like accessing cache having consolidated uh, uh, error handling um, perhaps we will deploy it in a pivotal cloud foundry we'll, so we'll do all kinds of things okay um, so we're going to get started uh, first we'll start with a basic service rest service then we will over time keep adding components to it and add functionality to it and hopefully uh, as we get through uh, different concepts you know this microservice will get richer and richer and it is something that can be helpful to you okay so to begin with um, obviously I can go ahead and uh, start a microservice uh, get a microservice started by using STS and um, you know uh, essentially use one of the guides and download the template that would be a way to do it uh, but if you are say at work uh, you will probably not be able to do this uh, because it will be blocked uh, so what we will do instead is uh, we will create a microservice, we will start with a, like a basic REST service uh, which will uh, we will set up from scratch okay using Maven uh, which is probably what you will encounter at a workplace. Um, again um, in terms of Maven repository uh, you will probably get some internal repository you will have to connect to and again you know that will be provided to you that information will be provided to you at your office. Uh, but uh, and we can look at some of those concepts but for now we will we'll do is we will basically uh, create a basic rest service uh, from scratch okay uh, using STS and uh, let's see how it goes now uh, to save time I am uh, not going to do a lot of typing I have actually got another service uh, thing programmed from where I will basically copy code and uh, that way we can uh, keep up the pace okay all right, so to begin with, I'm going to go to new and I will say I need a Maven project. And I'm going to skip this. Uh, so I'm basically going to build everything from scratch. Uh, so that way we know exactly what we are doing. And I'm going to this is basically your package name. Com dot social academy. And then I am going to call this. Uh, let me just uh, make sure that I have. Uh, I don't over India because I'll be copying code. I don't want to. Be in a situation okay so same thing rest service so you know I, I want to be consistent otherwise you know when we copy code we'll have to do all kinds of debugging okay and this is the parent project again you know the idea is that if you have a parent project with certain functionality like a parent form and things like that you could source it but we are not doing that so for now we'll just stick with this so this will basically go ahead and create a simple uh, essentially simple maven project okay so this has got nothing to do with boo you know spring boot at this time so if i open this pom.xml uh, you can see this basically is pretty much empty okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to swing over to my other guy I'm going to copy over the entries from here and then we will look at it in detail. Okay. Let's see what all we put here. So this is uh, sets the stage um, of the version, etc. Uh, it is going to be a REST service, 
So we need Spring Boot Starter Web. Uh, in the future, we are also going to write JUnit test cases and sorts. Okay, so we will add the test at that time. Uh, so we are leaving it out now. The Java version, and uh, you need the build information, and you know the repo. Okay, so basically, this is the you know simplest form of things you need. Now let's say you try to do this and it is not working out at work. Uh, usually they will have a repository. You have to make sure that what these versions you're selecting is something that is supported in your company. So they will have usually an internal repository and you should be able to go and search. So you would search for Spring Boot Starter Parent and it would tell you the versions that are loaded up there. And accordingly, you would find the information from there and inject. Likewise, dependency, again, right now it is extremely simple. So I don't think that really matters. But if there are versions and it something doesn't work, you basically have to search for this list, okay? Again, um, some additional information here, but if you're going to be at work, you know, you know, and it's not working uh, the way you want it to, uh, you have to basically research these things. So once I will hit the save, uh, you can see here, uh, things swung by because the stuff is already downloaded. And if I go into Maven dependencies, all this is now here. The GRE system says J2SE 1.5. We're going to change it. And the execution environment, why does it say that? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to take this guy. Okay. Uh, I have basically installed, uh, I thought there was a JDK. Okay, Java is fine. Okay. So right now there is no files here. Okay. So we basically have, you know, set up our Maven. So if you right click this guy and you go to Maven and you update to update project. It is going to download and fix your project. So now you can tell that it's becoming and in, turning into a Spring Boot application. Okay, not yet Spring Boot, but essentially uh, it is getting there slowly. Now what I will do is I need I'm going to create a REST controller. So I want basically a controller file, a class, and I need a application class to start up. Okay, so I'm going to build those things right now. So I'm going to do a new class and I'm going to call it com.coshalacademy and I think um, this class is going to do customer maintenance. Basically, we are going to have probably, you know, we'll create a simple class of saying customer first name, last name and an ID or something like that. Um, so this, this particular um, service is basically like a customer maintenance service uh, so that's what we are calling this thing and i think i can swing by to my other guy and i called it customer maintenance application okay And since this will be the starting, uh, the little bit the startup um, class, you know, I'm going to have a static main void here. Okay. All right. So I got this. Then what I need to do here is, it's really simple. You have this one line here, spring application dot run, and it this class name is basically this class name. Okay. So I'm going to copy this line. And I need to provide this annotation. Import. Okay, so that's it, right? 
let's save it and let's try to start this guy and your guy starts up okay so we it's not going to obviously do anything but basically what we have done so far is we have created the shell for a Spring Boot application. What we did was we put some entries in the pom.xml. Essentially, we added some of these essential things. Again, the starter web is not being used at this point, but actually it is being used for the studying of the Tomcat. Um, and we have a startup uh, defined here, okay? And, um, and that's it. So you have now the shell uh, for a Spring Boot um, application. Okay. So we're going to pause the video here and then we're going to come in and create the REST controller and then we'll create a POJU, etc. So we'll go step by step. Okay. So this is the part one. Okay. Thanks. Bye.